Building the wrong funnel can be catastrophic for your business. Not only do you waste a ton of time, but you can actually lose so much money that you tank your entire business. That's why in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could easily map your funnels like this. And then I'm gonna show you how you can run multiple simulations on your funnel so that you can figure out what's the best way for you to be profitable. Mapping my funnels has been a game changer for me and it's given me the confidence to know that when I put a dollar into a campaign, I can guarantee that I'll get back two, three, five, or ten dollars. This is gonna be an in-depth tutorial. We're gonna get into everything, so let's jump right into it. So the only tool you need to map and simulate your funnels is Kartra and what's great is not only is it going to help you map and simulate them but it's actually going to give you everything you need to build them from the landing pages, the emails, the videos and so on. And if you want to follow along with the tutorial you can get a 30 day trial of Kartra. Just click the link in the description down below and you'll be taken to this page and just sign up under the silver plan so that you can get the funnel mapper and the simulator. It's $1 for 30 days so you can try it risk free. Okay, so here we are in the Kartra backend and in order to get to the funnel section, you want to go to campaigns and then you want to click on funnels. We're going to now make a new funnel. So all you have to do is click the plus funnel button and we can just call it anything here. And let's just say it's like an online course you're trying to sell and you could say online course funnel. And you can enter a description here. And this is helpful if you want to make this public, if you want to share it with someone because there actually is a function to do that. But let's just say example. And you hit create and in a few seconds it's going to open up a blank canvas like this and this is where you'll be mapping your funnel on now it's really easy to map your funnel you just have to map out the traffic the actions and the assets so quickly to talk about the strategy behind all funnels it's really simple it's basically traffic and conversion so the more traffic and qualified traffic you can drive the better and the more of that traffic you can convert the better. So that's all it is. Traffic conversion. Now there's many ways to do the conversions. There's many ways to influence the traffic and there's many sources and you can map all of that, but just keep in mind, it's always traffic conversion. Now with that in mind, let's start with traffic. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an upload. Let's get back into it. So say you're trying to build your email list. It's a really simple example. And let's say you're using YouTube ads to do that. So let's just enter a campaign here, lead magnet campaign. And then what are you going to be driving it to? Well, you're driving it to a squeeze page so you can get their email address. Now, what's awesome about Kartra, like I said, is you can actually not only map the landing pages here, you can actually create everything you need. So you can actually choose an existing page so you can run the simulation with real campaigns. And so that's what this would look like. You can see it actually pulled in the real landing page that I have for one of my campaigns. Or if you don't quite have the landing pages yet and you're not sure if this is a campaign you want to build, if this is a funnel you want to run, then you can use placeholder, simulate it to see if it's going to make sense and if the math makes sense, which is a really good idea if you haven't started yet. So let's just go with placeholders for now. And so lead magnet landing page. So what's going to happen here is your traffic is going to go to your lead magnet landing page. Now you can also assign triggers to anything. And this is a little bit more advanced, but this is for your planning for when you are actually building it in Kartra. You can say, well, I want to remember that when someone comes here, I want to subscribe them to a list and you can see if you have the existing list or you create a placeholder list. So it's helping you plan all of the pieces you're going to need in that campaign. So not only can you just figure out the steps, you could also add in triggers. Back to the basics though, traffic in, you're sending it to your lead magnet squeeze page. Well, what do you want them to do there? Well, you want them to fill in a form. So again, we'll use placeholders here. Now I'm doing this quickly, but I'm actually gonna show you in a second, a more complex funnel that I've already built. And we're gonna run a simulation on that. So you can see something a little bit more advanced and how this can be really impactful, but I'm first just showing you how to build it and how easy it is. So now they are going to the form. You want them to register for the form. Well, what happens after they register for the form? Of course, they're going to go to your thank you page. So just exactly that, just drag in your thank you page and that's it. You've created the thank you page. And then off the back of this, you want to send them, of course, say a sequence of emails. 
So just go here, go to sequence of emails, placeholder. And again, if you've already built this stuff, then you don't have to use placeholders. You can actually add the actual things you've built. So off the back of this, they're of course going to get an email sequence because they've gone there, for example, and so on and so forth. And then maybe after in the email sequence, you try and sell them something and you add a sales page and that you're pushing to and so on. So we can spend a lot of time building out this campaign, but I want to just show you what a more built out campaign would look like for the sake of time. But hopefully I've shown you here how easy it is. You just drag in the traffic. What's the traffic source? And you can have multiple sources. What are they doing on any asset that you've done? And then what are the assets? So it's really pretty straightforward and self-explanatory in many ways. So here's a quick example of a funnel I'm actually building and running right now. So you can see here I'm running TikTok ads to this passive income guide. So this guide is an actual asset. It's a real landing page. And that's why you can see there, if you go to placeholders, you can see which ones are placeholders and which pages are real. And you can see there's a mix of them for me. But this guide has a form on it because the point of this guide is to actually get email leads. And this is pretty meta, but if you actually don't know too much about funnel strategy, you should click the link in the description down below and grab this free passive income shortcuts guide. I have a whole chapter on funnel strategy. So <laughs> yeah, pretty meta, but um, it can really help you with mapping out your funnel because I'm going to go through this really quickly. So TikTok ads, it's going to the landing page and there's a form on the landing page. Then when they fill in the form, then before they're taken to their guide, there is a order bump, it's called. And so this is just where you're trying to sell them something because they've already taken an action that's positive just to upgrade that action. And we're going to get into when we get into the simulation, why this is so important. But basically, you have your order bump here and either they can purchase it and then they'll still get taken to the thank you page or they don't purchase it and they still get taken to the thank you page. But if they don't purchase it also, I'm actually enrolling them in an email sequence that's offering the thing that they missed over here. And so a portion of them may click and then go to a sales page for the same asset and then purchase it that way. Now, this is a pretty simple funnel, but you can imagine how complex you can get with multiple traffic sources, more landing pages, more emails, more order bumps. You can really build out this really, really complex funnel. So when you're done, you would simply save and exit, and then we can actually run a simulation to see if and how we can make this funnel make sense. So go back to the campaigns funnels area and go to simulations. Then what you want to do is you want to select a simulation. So this is the one we're building here. And this is really where the magic happens. So within each of these, you can enter variables. So say we're going to get a thousand visitors a day from TikTok, and that's going to cost us 50 cents a click. Then it's going to send all that traffic, a thousand people to that landing page. Now, Let's say we have a 33% conversion rate on this page. I actually do have a good conversion rate on this page, so I'm pretty confident about that. And so then it's going to obviously send 330 people to the order bump. And this is the order bump page. Say that we're selling a $199 product and 10% of people convert. In fact, let's be even more conservative. Let's say 3% of people convert. So out of the 330, only 10 people actually buy it, which is 3% at 199. And you can see here, if we change the price of the product, you can see the ROI change instantly. So you can even get to, if you want to know what your break even is, you can even say, hey, look at this cost of ads. If I'm selling for $35, I can break even. That's also a strategy because you might just want to grow your list for free because then you can market to those people forever. But let's be conservative here. Let's say we're just selling a $49 product and our conversion rates, because it's 49, is not that bad. Let's say it's 10%. So you can see there's a 253% ROI. And then of course, that means 297 people did not buy if 10% did buy. And so then you see they go through this sequence here. There's a whole bunch of emails. And then let's say that 10% of them actually click one of the links in your emails. Then that means 30 of them go to your new sales page. And let's just say conservatively, even 10% of those people convert. And then you can see that that's another three sales. 
And you can see here that it's 253%, which means every dollar you put in, you get 253, which is decent. Now you can play around with these things. Like I said, you can see what happens when you increase the price of the product. And you can even see some very interesting things. Like you can see how much email helps. So let's just say we set this to zero. Then you can see that reduced our conversion rate by 30%. So just having this email sequence and having just 10% of those people buy, that can be the difference between ads making sense and not. Now, the other thing you can do is you can actually share your funnel. You can either do it as a PDF and share that out. This is actually a great strategy. If you want to share your funnels as a lead magnet, you can do that if you like. Or if you have a few people you work with, a mentor, other entrepreneurs, you want to get some feedback, you can just easily link to that funnel. And then people can actually see that right there and give you some feedback on your funnel. And like I mentioned, when you're happy with your numbers, you have all the tools right here within Kartra to build it. The products, all the emails, the pages, the forms, you can build a membership site, videos, calendar, survey, help desk. Everything you need to actually build this funnel is in Kartra. And if you want more information on how to use each of those features, I have basically a video for every single thing you want to do in Kartra right here. that will show you how to build everything. So this has been a game changer for me and even just being able to see how much of a return adding some extra emails could help in this sequence, adding an extra order bump. There's ways you can see where let me add some new elements to this funnel and how that can impact your profitability and make potentially an idea that's not so sustainable into a sustainable idea. It's so powerful to play with these simulations because again, the last thing you want to do is go off and spend either weeks or whatever building out all of this content and funnels and stuff just to have it not work or even worse, spend all the money on it and the time and have it not work and you're kind of frustrated back at square one. So using this funnel builder and simulator is such a game changer and such a powerful step if you're really trying to take your business seriously and take it to the next level. And I'll also mention that this can also be used with things, I didn't show it in the example, but there's traffic sources like actual cold calls and like referrals and partnerships. So it can be used for any funnel scenario, not just internet and marketing based funnels. You can actually use it for more traditional sales funnels, more in person events, all those sorts of traffic sources and actions and activities. They're all there. Basically any sort of sales and marketing interaction you could think of in a funnel, you can map it. So if you want to try not just mapping and simulating your funnel, but actually building it as well, then click the link in the description below to get an extended 30 day trial so you can try it risk free. I also have my Kartra Rapid Funnel Builder Masterclass linked down below too, where you can learn from end to end how to use Kartra to either build your first funnel or build and launch a membership site or online course. Now, if you are going to try out the tool, build a funnel and link it down below in the comments. And I'll be sure to give you my thoughts if you want some feedback on your funnels. Also, if you found this video helpful, as I said, I have a full Kartra playlist. Check that out. You can also subscribe to the channel for more growth tools and automation tutorials. Thanks for watching. And what you want to do next is go check out those other Kartra videos.